my research is about working with rural communities and it's about designing things with rural communities and the premise of it is that in the past we've had lots of top-down solutions to rural health issues and our idea is that bottom-up might work better so we work through a process with rural communities around what are their health issues what are their service issues and we bring data to them we get them to ask questions themselves and we bring them around to an idea of how they would like what their priorities are about health and health services and how they would like to see those addressed okay so there would be several outcomes really one is around uh, looking at what communities themselves would design for their services and having done some work of this kind previously in Scotland it's actually quite interesting the kind of quite radical solutions that communities will come up with that policymakers might never have thought of um, so there's that there's the kind of well what do people actually come up with themselves then during that process we also find that people um, they learn a lot about health and health services. So what we want to do is to develop a way of measuring the kind of literacy, if you like, that they get about health in, in that process. And obviously down the line, we want to then measure if the, if the um, services or ideas that the communities have actually do improve their health and are implementable. So we get the communities involved in the next stage, which is that to implement the, the designs that they come up with. Okay, well I think um, one of the ideas is really that in a lot of policy documents nowadays, their uh, services um, are told to engage communities in, um, in decision making. But there's really very little advice as to how to do that and also as to what they're actually trying to achieve in that process. So what we're trying to do is to figure out A, a way that the services can actually do this, how can they involve communities, B, does it really give good outcomes, what kind of outcomes does it, does it give, does it give better service designs, does it give better health down the line, um, and does it help people to understand more about their health and their services. So, so really the benefits are really kind of obvious, I hope, <laughs> in that uh, you know, they should, uh, this, this is a way to involve people much more in, in designing things for themselves.